Hi, this is General Farmer, and I am going to start a new Let's Play world in hard mode, and I hope you'll come along. I'm going to try to be a little bit of instruction and a lot of fun, hopefully, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be a little bit picky about this because I want to have a really interesting spawn. So I'm going to see what we get. I'm using a random spawn, but I mean a random seed, but oh, bunnies. But I do kind of want to have a an interesting looking spawn area to work with. So I'm going to take a quick look around. Oh, a pumpkin. Oh, horse. Oh, donkeys. Horses, pumpkins, cows, sand, desert, trees, sheep. This actually is a very interesting spawn. I think I could work with this. And the spawn point was right down there. So all around here, if I build... If we get in the future to the point where we are building... Uh, uh, farms, auto farms, and that kind of thing. They should, my understanding is that they should run continuously because the spawn chunks stay loaded. So I cannot attest to that. I've heard it many times, but I don't necessarily know that I have witnessed it being the case. But uh, that's my understanding. And if nothing else, we have a very interesting starting place here. So I'm going to punch a few grass here. I like. I want to... I'm thinking since this thing overlooks this area, this would actually be a very cool place to start building at least our initial um, base. So I'm gonna level out this area. Not level it out really, but knock the grass down so I can work here and then also <clears throat> gather some seeds. I'd like to get it... well I've got 10 already. I was gonna say I'd like to gather about 10 seeds to start a small wheat farm with because that will allow us to uh, have some food early on but we've already reached that so that's exciting um, I'd like a little bit of wood and that tree looks a little bit intimidating to knock down with my bare hands because I'd have to climb up in it and everything so I'm gonna go see if I can get one of these small trees um, if you're new to Minecraft, I'm going to go ahead and hit seeds as I walk along to hit grass. Um, a percentage of grass when you break it will give you seeds to plant, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to punch this tree. Well, I say punch. I'm hitting it with seeds right now, but if you have the in inappropriate tool, the appropriate tool would be an axe since I have an inappropriate tool doesn't really make any difference whether I'm using my hand or a um, wheat seeds or what have you. So I'm going to get a little bit of wood there. That'll give me enough to make some rudimentary tools, some wooden tools to begin with. Get a few pretty flowers. No, I'm not really interested in the flowers. But oh, look at that. Look at that. That, I believe, is a desert temple. Yes, it is. So that's exciting. We are not nearly at the point where we could uh, take on a desert temple, but the day will come. And uh, desert temples actually are not exceedingly hard to defeat, so uh, it won't be that far in the future that we'll be able to take that on. They don't have native mobs that are particularly difficult. They just have dark areas. Um, where mobs can sp normal mobs can spawn, um, and then they have one very exciting booby trap. If you're not familiar with it, uh, you you'll enjoy seeing me either blow myself to smithereens if I can give you a spoiler alert there. Uh, it is an explosive booby trap, so if I do it wrong, I will be blown into little bits, and. Uh, if I do it right, it will be interesting to see. Although, it won't hurt my feelings if I, I know that probably it would be interesting to see me blow myself to bits too. So, 
if you're looking forward to that, I won't hold it against you. Um, and uh, I can assure you that I am not at uh, I am not so talented that I will never blow myself to bits. You're definitely going to see that, or I don't know about blowing myself to bits because explosives are somewhat rare, but I will definitely be doing my share of dying, I imagine, um, in this, especially since I started it in hard mode. Uh, oh, I don't actually want to get that up. So let's see, what was the first thing I wanted to do? So I got some seeds. I'm going to go take my wooden axe and kill a few sheep because sheep drop food which is ex useful in the beginning but also most importantly to me right now they drop wool and uh oh that was cute that was a baby sheep okay i'm not gonna kill that one because yes i realize it's a computer but also it seems like a mommy sheep and she literally just had a baby and i don't want to kill her um, in front of her child. So, <clears throat> and that one I'm going to let live because he's the wrong color. So what I needed was three wool. <clears throat> you see there, I got it. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this pumpkin while I'm here too, which is very interesting in that it is a solitary pumpkin. I don't know if that's like a, uh, let's see. If we hit F3, it'll give us the debug screen. Calls it a planes. I thought perhaps that was a single piece of a, oh, there's a wheat seed. Or no, I'm sorry, that's a tree tree sapling. I thought perhaps that was a different biome um, than the other. I don't think I was aware that they spawned in planes, but I certainly was not aware that it couldn't happen either, so that was a planes. I thought perhaps it was like a small piece of a different biome that would have pumpkins. I want a little bit more wood, and I have a awful lot of beautiful but intimidatingly awkwardly shaped trees here so I'm trying to stick with the small the small um, trees that just have a single trunk um, without all those branches sticking out in every which way all right so let's head back to our area um, and we will Start building kind of a rudimentary shelter, and I actually would kind of like to terraform this area slightly. I want to kind of close up this gap. So what I may do is get some soil from over here, some dirt. Um, with my little wooden shovel. Very rudimentary tools right now. I'm going to upgrade to stone shortly, but I kind of want to get a bed made and at least start thinking about the outline of a uh, of where I want to build our initial starting base. It should be in this area probably. And we will... Oh, that's going to be very nice. Very close to exactly the number I needed. Let's put a few over here. Level out this area. All right, put that there. So I'm going to take another one of these to wood, and we will make a bed by laying three wood like that, laying three wool like that. I got a bed. Um, and this first night I may stay up just to show you what the nights are like. But the bed will allow you to avoid the night, and the night is worth avoiding um, because a lot of mobs come out at night, and uh, particularly early in the game like this, and playing in hard mode, um, the mobs are going to be formidable. They they will be something that will be worth avoiding. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was a um, pillager there for a second. That donkey with his head down looked an awful lot like a pillager raid. What is that? Something really interesting off in the distance. No, that's just cactuses. All right, so we have that. Um, let me see if I can find a water source nearby. That would be a good place to build a farm. 
I'm hoping it'd be closer. Well, we'll move it closer later, but for now, let's do it down here. Oh, I'm lying. I walked away from, I need a, I need a hoe. I'm gonna build a hoe here, which will be like so. Um, oh yeah, let me do this. Um, if you see me hesitating when I'm building stuff, it is because in the interest of showing you how to do things, I'm uh, trying to remember the formula for various things, but I've gotten a little lazy from playing Minecraft where I tend to use that. Uh, if you see when I do this, you click on this thing, it will show you what you can build and the things bordered in white, you have the resources for the things bordered in red, you don't have uh, currently have the things you need to build them. Um, so I tend to use this recipe book a lot and consequently I don't know, consequently I don't know, um, all of the recipes by heart. And look at this, here's some sugarcane, I'm going to get that because sugarcane, oh, there's some more, is a wonderful thing to have. Oh, and a pig, we will be domesticating him soon. Um, I don't know if you notice here, but the light is going away on me, which means it's becoming nighttime, which means I am taking a foolish rest here at the moment, so I'm going to head back towards my area up yonder, and we may be able to see some mobs, and you will see what we're up against at nighttime. Now, the mobs should not spawn. <clears throat> if all else fails, you can somewhat successfully stand still all night and avoid mobs. Um, it's not Super safe, look at that, there's a, you see that zombie muttering through the, hiding in the tall grass right there. Um, mobs have to spawn at least 24 blocks away from you, but there's a spider. Um, once they spawn, there's a skeleton with a bow. They will pathfind towards you um, if they detect you. and. The worst are the zombies as far as detecting you because the zombies have a very long, I saw the beady eyes of a spider over there too, uh, the zombies have a very long detection range and so if you are gonna, there's some more zombies, if you're gonna try to make it through the night, ooh and there's a creeper, my most feared adversary, good heavens, that field is full of stuff. Well this is hard mode, yep. Yeah. That one has on, I don't know if you see it, that one has on some armor, and most terribly he has on a helmet, which means when the sun comes out in the morning, he will not immediately burn up. Alright, so, let us go. So I think what I'm going to do now is sleep in the bed so that we don't have to fight a ton of monsters uh, while we're doing our next steps. Because I'd like to start a garden <clears throat> with the wheat seeds and the sugar cane and let me think what else I want to accomplish in this first episode. I might plant that pumpkin. So I think we'll get some basic gardens going and then we will... Uh, call that an episode. So right now I'm going to sleep and you'll see what happens. So you right click on that. I get the advancement sweet dreams for sleeping and you see it's daytime and if you see the zombies, anything that's undead basically, so zombies, skeletons, will catch on fire in daylight. Now the creepers are still, the creepers will survive as will the spiders. And the creepers stay hostile, but the spiders will actually be neutral during the day. They will not try to attack us um, unless we attack them. If we attack them, they will uh, become hostile. Okay? So let's go down here. Um, and we will start kind of a beginner farm. I think I'm going to get some of this dirt with my shovel. You see, wooden tools don't last long. You can see I've almost worn out this wooden shovel already. And I have not done a ton of stuff with it, but, oops. Um, what I'm going to do is right here, 
I'm going to go out one, two, three, let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'll dig up that too. Um, I'm actually going to make some little whoops parallel lines here. Um, because crops grow better if they are within four blocks of water. <clears throat> now these are going to be more than, much closer than four blocks obviously if I build them like this, but I'm just doing that to keep them hydrated. Um, you actually could come out with this water here. I could come out as far as four blocks and they would still be hydrated. Of course these are still going to be hydrated anyway because there's water on each side of them, but you could potentially do like this, all right? And you could have up to a four by four area. As long as there's water within four blocks of that, um, you will, it, the plants will grow more quickly. Oops, and I have a piece of soil there. Let me go put that over here. Anyway, uh, I built this a little weird looking, but that's all right. I want, I want you guys to be able to learn also if you are new to Minecraft. Um, if you're veterans, you'll probably have to Bear with me for the first episode or two. This is obviously going to be stuff that you already know, um, but for those of us that are, those folks that are new, you see I got the advancement of CD Place the first time you plant seeds. Um, and what I think I will do is plant the sugar cane down the other. No, I'm wrong. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I forgot I tilled it. Uh, you really should not. I, I think I'll put the sugar cane somewhere else. Um, I forgot that you don't till the land for sugar cane. Well, I originally intended to put the seeds there and then I changed my mind and forgot. So for sugar cane, you don't want tilled land. Um, I don't know if you noticed that I used the hoe. I right clicked using the hoe to till that land. But uh, for sugarcane, you actually need untilled land. Let me think where I want to put the sugarcane now. Now that I made that silly mistake, I'm kind of changing my mind about where I want it to be. Ooh, there's clay under there. I don't know if you noticed that, folks. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to... build this area here with sugarcane and we're going to put let's do it on this side since this is where we're going to be two three four right um and they will grow sugarcane will grow up to three blocks high and with sugarcane uh let me show you this real quick if you when the sugarcane eventually grows that high you can come along and break that bottom block uh not the bottom block the block right above the bottom and the bottom one will stay and will continue to grow up to three levels. <clears throat> so once you plant sugarcane, you can actually just let it grow um, and break. As long as you don't break that bottom block, it'll continue to grow from that. Um, and that allows you pretty much infinite source of, uh, of um, sugarcane. And sugarcane is useful for a lot of stuff. You get sugar for it, which eventually you can use for potions and things. Um, but what I value it most for in the early game is the fact that it gives you uh, um, paper. You can get paper, you can get books. When we get to the point we can start enchanting, we're going to need books and bookshelves. Um, and paper is worth a lot of stuff. And you can trade it if we find a village. We can trade it to librarians and cartographers for emeralds, which we can use to buy other things. So uh, it's very, that's interesting. There's a guy standing on my, I guess he wanted a view. Um, you can use it to build I'm going to make a chest. You can use the uh, paper to trade with other people. So that's what I like to do. Now I'm going to put things in there that I don't need immediately. I think I will get those pumpkin seeds. I'm going to, now pumpkins do not, I believe they benefit from water, but they don't need tilled land. So what I'll do is go down here where our farm was and uh, 
right along. Let me think where I want this. Um, oh, I meant to mention, I don't know if you guys noticed when I jumped up before, when I jumped off that edge and landed on my tilled land, uh, the land untilled, basically, and you can do that. So you have to be careful if you're jumping about, or uh, mobs and things will do it too. So when you build your farm, you may want to make sure that there's a strip around the edge like this of untilled land so that you are not jumping down. If you're jumped down from here, let's see if we can get this to work. No, it didn't work. It doesn't always do it. But if you jump and see, did you see how that land became untilled? You're basically spoiling your garden if you jump on it too hard. And if mobs come along, if zombies come along and they step off that block onto this one, jump off that block onto this one, they can destroy your uh, farm. So it's a good idea to leave a border around here. And when I get to making a more permanent farm, I will actually do a nice looking border around it. Oh, I broke my shovel. I didn't even notice that. So, so that's it for now. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to plant this pumpkin. The way you do pumpkins is they need, I'm going to actually take down this. And I apologize to the purists out there. I don't normally like to, uh, I'm using a hoe to collect dirt, which is really painful to those of us that have played Minecraft a long time. It looks really awkward to use the wrong tool, but I'm doing it now because I broke my shovel and I don't feel like taking the turn. It's time to make another one right now. Um, so I have pumpkins <clears throat> and they will grow. Right now they're very small. The way pumpkins grow is they go through three, possibly four, I can't recall, growth stages um, of the vine. And the vine will grow through three or four stages. And when the vine is fully grown, at some point it will, when the, um, when the mechanic, Minecraft mechanics determine randomly that it's time for one of those to grow, they'll grow a pumpkin and they grow the pumpkin on a block adjacent to the vine. So the vine will be here and a pumpkin will grow probably here. You can you can control where, to some degree where the pumpkin goes by eliminating other blocks as a source, as a, as a location. So like this one, when this vine grows, it could potentially grow a pumpkin there or there. If you take out these blocks, like I did that block, then you can force the pumpkin like this. I basically have forced this vine to grow a pumpkin there now. Um, and that's not super important at this stage, but it becomes more important later when you start building uh, automatic pumpkin farms and things. We'll do that at some stage. And then you need the pumpkin to grow where you want it to grow. All right. So I think for now we've got a farm started. Um, we've got wheat growing. We've got pumpkins growing. We've got you see these plants have already started growing. All plants grow through a certain number of stages of growth. Um, and when wheat, I'll show you at some point what wheat looks like when it's fully grown, but when it's fully grown, it'll be brown. And then you can harvest it and get the wheat and you will also get some seeds when you do that. If you harvest it before it's ripe, all you do is get your seeds back. So there's no point in harvesting it until it's fully grown. Um, oh good, I see some more pigs. We'll be corralling animals probably in the next episode. I think I'm going to wrap it up for this one. we got farm growing. I've showed you what night looks like. We've got some basic uh, how-tos going on here. You saw me collecting wood. I'm very excited about this donkey. At some point, I'll probably breed him with a horse and get mules, which is exciting. Um, and we've seen a very interesting few things that we'll be working on soon. And I see the day is coming to an end again. So I think I will call that episode one, and thank you for watching. Um, I know this was fairly basic. If you are a, an experienced Minecrafter, episode one of these Let's Play tends to be a little uh, simplistic for you, but bear with us because uh, I don't know if you learned this way. This is the way I learned years ago to play Minecraft, by watching Let's Plays. So there's always people that, that don't know this kind of stuff, all right? And uh, I hope you'll stick around for future episodes. Thank you so much, and please, please hit that like button, and uh, if you really, really like this Let's Play, uh, hit the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every time I make one. I'm planning to make probably three, four, five before I start putting them on my site, so by the time you're seeing this, there probably are several, else, several more available. 
All right, but please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Thank you and good night.